Hi guys, Mike back again with a mini Forge World slash Games Workshop um, unboxing. So um, I've been ordering again. It's a blooming nightmare, isn't it? You know what it's like. So um, I've just started two weeks leave. Um, my last, I've, I've just come off a night shift, and um, and now I'm off for two weeks. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm going to get lots and lots of painting done and lots of uh, lots of hobby related activity. Um, on really basically so um, so in preparation for my two weeks leave I um, was was on the uh, Forge World website <laughs> and the Games Work Workshop, Workshop website and um, I've ordered a couple of bits so this is a little mini unboxing so first up from Forge World I picked up the Imperial Armour Apocalypse 2 book um, 20 pounds it's pretty good actually it's um it's what how many pages have we got 100 and odd pages 100 and eight pages um, but the sole reason I picked it up was because it's got the data sheet in it for the Reaver Titan um, so that's that's the sole reason I picked this book up <laughs> I thought for 20 quid to get the stats um, is, is, is all right to be fair and it's a nice it's a nice book to the collection as well um, so yeah so that's that 1450 points that's uh that's um that's a heck of a heck of a points cost there so that's cool so for, um imperial armor apocalypse 2 very very nice book um also from forge world we picked up the um mark 2 and 4 apothecary set so you get two two apothecaries in here um, i know i first saw these at the forge world open day i was speaking to mark bedford about um the weathering powders and techniques he was doing some weathering with the forge world weathering powders and sort of uh imparting his knowledge really about how he does it uh, really, really nice chap. Really, you know, really accommodating and uh, and friendly. So that was cool. And these were sitting in a cabinet next to him. Um, stuff that he'd sculpted. Um, and I sort of spied them and uh, was asking him about them. And they find well, they've they've come out. So you get a Mark II and a Mark IV apothecary. And uh, those of you who've been doing um, Warhammer 40k or collecting Warhammer 40k for as long as I have know that the uh, apothecary models have need, been needing up an update for quite some time. Um, so, and I wanted to add to my collection of sanguinary priests for my Blood Angel army. So, um, so they'll make a very, very nice addition. Um, so in the future, I mean, I've not opened them yet, um, but when I open them and, and put them together and paint them, I'll, um, I'll do another little video to show you what they look like. So that's those. And then last but not least, and this was the main reason for the Forge World order, was the Reaver Titan Power Fist. Um, um, you know, obviously I'm, I want to be collecting all the all the weapon arms, all the all the weapon options for the Reaver Titan. Um, <laughs> so I thought the Power Fist would, it would give me a nice little project for a few days over over my leave. Um, really nice, actually. It's um, loads of pieces, loads of components. It's gonna you know it's gonna take a nice little little afternoon to put together. Um, so it's really nice, really really solid. It's it's quite heavy, um, but that's the hand, obviously. And then you've got loads of um, kind of elbow joints. I haven't really been through the instructions properly, but you've got a load of elbow joints and stuff there. Um, and, then, and then and then loads of finger pieces, basically. Um, so obviously you've got you know this bit of the finger. I mean it's it's, it's properly fully articulated. I mean if if you had the 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 uh, wherewithal and the uh, inclination, if you like you'd be able to fully articulate this. You could drill through these um, sections here and put bits of brass rod through and you could you could fully articulate the, the whole hand, um, which I may or may not do. I did have an idea where I wanted to get two power fists and have him in a position where he was like punching his fist into his hand. Um, but um, I think from having a look at this that with the restricted elbow and shoulder kind of movements, um, his his arm is not going to be moving in any kind of dynamic pose. It's pretty much just going to hang down um, or go off to the side slightly. You know, I'm not sure if I can get some sort of pointing, um, pointing kind of effect with it. But we shall see. We'll have a look and see. So that's that. That's the Forge World unboxing. Um, the Games Workshop unboxing was uh, was just an envelope, and in that envelope was ticket for Games Day 2012. Um, I've never been, never been to Games Day. Um, always wanted to go, and I've kind of made a, a kind of uh, not not resolution, but uh, wanted to kind of get out and about a bit more this year. Um, so you know, I went to the Forge World Open Day, which was I really, really enjoyed. 
um, and I wanted to get to games day to see see what um, see what it's like really. And I appreciate it's going to be really really busy and loads of queuing, <laughs> but um, I think it's going to be quite good. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to go was to get the games day model um, of that uh, Blood Angel captain. Um, or, or is he a sergeant or a captain? I mean, I'll, I'll probably use him as a sergeant anyway. Um, and I kind of half thought that you got the model with the ticket. Obviously that's not the case, because I didn't get a model with a ticket. So I was having a look online, and it looks like you get the model when you go to games day, but the model's not included in the price of the ticket. So that's a bit of a bummer. I thought I thought it was all kind of included, but uh, it's not. But from what I read, the model thinks it's going to be about 12 quid. Um, so that invariably... Um, um, involve a, a huge queue. I, I understand there's about six and a half thousand tickets for games day so um, I'm not sure if everyone is able to get a model so that's six and a half thousand of these games day models that you have to queue up for so I'm not really sure how it works uh, or maybe they just give you one on the way in or I don't know what happens but anyway we shall see so um, so yeah if any of you are going to games day um, it'd be cool to meet you um, you know I've, I've uh, kind of my, my sort of fledgling channel is becoming uh, um, more and more watched and, and people are commenting more and more which is really really nice really appreciate it um, and yeah so obviously you see you've seen me on cam you've seen my face so um, if you see see a miserable chap walking around games day this year uh, don't be don't be scared and uh, come up and say hello and uh, um, yeah it'd be cool to meet you all it'd be cool to meet you and, and you know meet you face to face and see what you're up to and uh, you know, and I have a chat. You know, maybe we can queue and chat at the same time for various uh, uh, plastic and resin crack. So that'd be cool. But um, yeah, um, that's pretty much the, the update for today. Got a big, big update on the Reaver Titan coming up in the next few days. Um, the painting is pretty much done, to be honest. The main paint is done. All that now really needs to be done is weathering. Um, so I'm going to do a big kind of. Um, putting him together video showing you how he works with the magnetization and the bolt system for the weapon options so we're going to do a, a nice little video for that and then um, um, probably going to ask your guys advice for um, for some sort of weathering techniques and I'm not really sure what I want to do I don't know if I want to go in with sort of sponges and like you know dark grey paint and metallics and start chipping him up and, and making him all weathered I, oh, I don't know I don't know but we'll see um, Anyway, I'll put him together and you can see what he looks like and maybe you can, uh, your input will be greatly received about what we do next with him. So um, that's it for today um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys.